Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to episode 3 of my Valencia career mode. Now today we're going to be finishing off the summer transfer window, hopefully making, I would imagine, one more signing and then um, that will probably be it for the episode. We'll obviously play this game as well that we have before the end of the summer transfer window. Again, it'll be a slightly shorter episode than the ones that you are used to. Uh, but before we get into things, if we could go hit 30 likes on this video, that'd be really appreciated. Also, don't forget to go subscribe as well if you haven't already. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Thank you all for the support on the recent two videos that I've done on the Valencia career mode since we started. Um, you guys have been supporting it really well, so thank you so much for that. Uh, but let's get on with this episode now. I was looking through the comments of the previous episode uh, when I was asking you guys about what keeper I should sign. And it was very close. I mean, there was complete different ideas as to who we should try and sign out of the two. There was other people suggesting other goalkeepers as well as these two, which I've got bids in for. Very close. Basically, what people said was that I should sign Kalon Navas. Now, I think it was five votes for Navas and four votes for Ruli. So it was very close, but one person made a very good point, which was if I sign Ruli, it's pretty much another Ryan um, that I ha already have as a keeper. I think he's a similar sort of overall, so it wouldn't really be that beneficial. And plus, Diego Alves, who he got rid of, was a 30-year-old keeper that was 83 overall. He was a slightly more experienced keeper and a better overall. So I think Kalon Navas fits uh, a re as a replacement. He fits um, Diego Alves much better uh, as a replacement. So I think we will go with um, Kalon Navas and uh, he was the, the most voted player in the comments as well at the two players I suggested so we will go with that one apologies if you wanted really to be signed he might be someone that I sign at a later date but for now we won't be signing him sadly even though he does look like a very good youngster uh, and probably a, a very good sign if we were to have uh, signed him but Kaelin Navas is the player that I've gone with he is our new keeper, our new starting keeper and that means he goes straight into our starting eleven. Looks really good. Six foot one, not the tallest keeper, keeper you'll ever see, um, but obviously he's a very good quality keeper, come from Real Madrid, and uh, yeah, maybe his kicking could do with some improvements, but we can always uh, try and um, uh, try and train him as much as possible over the next few weeks. Uh, but first of all, we do have uh, some more training drills to do, and in fact, I might include him in one of the drills uh, if we have enough spaces. So let's quickly go do some play development now and see what sort of players we have available. We currently got Ryan, which we are training, so we'll swap that one out for Kaelon Navas and uh, hopefully try and improve him this time round. In fact, we won't be able to improve him, obviously, this week, uh, but in the upcoming weeks, we should be able to get him up. Uh, hopefully, his kicking will go up. In fact, we're not even training his kicking there. That was poor. I should really uh, be in training his kicking uh, in order to try and get up from 70, but the rest of them seem to be improving fairly well. Nobody's really going up in overalls, though, because uh, we've only recently just started the career, but obviously... Um, so let's move on now towards the second league game of the season. Hopefully we can get ourselves another three points. Um, for those of you who haven't seen, Barcelona um, lost to Valencia in real life, which was a great result, obviously, for uh, Valencia fans. And um, we was uh, three points for them in real life as well. So hopefully we can sort of replicate that sort of success, uh, obviously, throughout the season. First of all, though, we do have some transfer offers in here. Uh, first of all, for Rafa Mir, Rafa Mir, I think I'm going to pronounce it like that. Um, it's a loan deal to Dagenham and Redbridge, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead with that and accept it. Um, he's a young 17-year-old, looks pretty good, might be someone that we use um, down the line, but for now he's obviously not going to be good enough. And there were some other keepers that were scouting, um, Oblak being one that does look really good for his age especially, and Moya was another, both obviously from Atletico Madrid, um, but both of which I obviously won't be signing at the moment. Let's move on to hopefully getting to the league game if we can. There might be some more emails to look at though beforehand. It looks like there will be possibly some more transfer offers in. And yes, we do. We've got one for another lone player. Again, we'll get rid of him. Just a left back there. Again, looks okay considering his age. Uh, but someone that won't be of use at the moment. And Man City over the moon with Otamendi progress. It's an interesting one. Uh, obviously, he came from Valencia. It's a shame that we don't have him on this career mode. Um, but yeah, it would have been nice to have had at the back. We've also got a lot of decent centre-backs though, so it doesn't worry me too much that we've lost him. And uh, yeah, let's go with this second league game of the season. We could potentially go top here, obviously. Barcelona have just uh, gone in front of us into third place after winning their second match. And uh, yeah, we will quickly change around the team. I'll be back in a second once I've done that. Okay, this is the team I've gone with. I've not really made any changes, just brought in uh, Figuli, um at right wing. That's obviously as a replacement um, for Rodrigo, who has gone onto the bench. Got Negredo on there, Bacali misses out, same with Mina, uh, Danilo starts on the bench there, Gomez, our new signing, Malo as well, also starts on the bench, he doesn't get in front of our other right back that we have, uh, but the team you probably expect from this game to be honest, so uh, we'll wait and see how he gets on, it's obviously the first game I've actually played, 
because uh, the first match we simmed and won 3-0. Um, so this is the first match we played on World Class uh, against uh, this team. So we should be able to really get ourselves a win. It's a home match and against a winnable team, I'd say. But again, we'll have to wait and see uh, what some of these Spanish sides are like in-game. Here we go, big game. This one can tell us a lot about the players that we've brought in and, and signed in this summer transfer window and whether they are going to be good enough. It'll also tell me about other players that we currently have in the team um, where we could maybe swap out if they aren't good enough in-game because uh, some of these players have not played with before in-game so uh, it might tell me a lot more about the squad. Hopefully there was a positive result. I'm after obviously a win here. We should really get one uh, but we'll have to wait and see what sort of team we've got on our hands. Shira Shev trying to put one in. Ah, not quite. It will go out for a corner though. I think I'm pronouncing that one right. Let me know in the comments, obviously, if I'm not pronouncing that one right. I think it's Kirishev or Shirishev, something like that. Uh, but yeah, we do have, have ourselves a corner. They have just smacked the bar with a chance. I uh, wasn't really expecting it, so I wasn't commentating at the time. But Alsace with a strike there. And again, again gets blocked. Faguli will have it. And another block. And another corner. Not a bad end to this first half at the moment. Parejo will take it. And it's into the box. Verratti's in there for some reason. And obviously doesn't win it. And out to Faguli yet again. Maybe gets on his right foot and tripped up. Quite obviously there. In front of the referee. There will be a booking. Do we have any good free kick takers? I'd imagine we probably do with the sort of midfielders we've got. Let's have a little look. Yes, we do. Parejo seems to be the best one. And uh, yes, he will be the one to take, I think. Who's the other one? Laporte is apparently quite good. Let's try and get it in here from Parejo. And it gets blocked easily in the end. Poor free kick. Hits the wall. And I would have thought that would be pretty much it for our attacks. Maybe there's one more uh, for either team. But we'll have to wait and see on the counter-attack here. But Laporte does brilliant to uh, come across and cover. And that is it for the first half. Still drawing the game 0-0. It's been an interesting first half. It's told me a lot certainly about the attack. We're not good enough going forward. Defensively, we seem very solid. Um, they've not had loads of chances. And I think I could do with changing a few things. Maybe formation. Uh, but I will be back in a second once I've done that. And I think Ansace McQuinn off doesn't really provide me with enough for my liking. Okay, we're going to give this a go. We're going to play uh, 4-1-4-1. Uh, some call it 4-5-1, whatever. And uh, yeah, we've got Luis Gustavo playing as the whole midfielder with uh, Parejo dropping back. Um, we brought on Rodrigo, basically. And we've taken off Ansace, as I suspected that I would. We're going to try it out, Rodrigo. I quite like a, a faster, strong striker that we've got up front. So that might work out a little bit better. We're going to give it a go. If it doesn't work out, then we'll probably end up bringing on Negredo, to be honest. And uh, giving him a shot up front with Rodrigo out on the right-hand side. We'll wait and see how it goes. I'm still experimenting with this team. So I'm not expecting to have put in an amazing performance in the first game. Uh, because I'm not really too sure how I'll be playing with this sort of team as of yet. We'll wait and find out, though, obviously in this game and in the future matches coming up. It's too easy for them. They've got a great chance and it's a brilliant block in the end. Way too easy for them passing it around. Verratti has been non-existent for us. And I hope that wouldn't be the case when I signed him. It looks like it may well be. I know it's obviously just the first game, but he has barely touched the ball in this match. He might be better off going forward, I'm not really too sure. But uh, hopefully a good attack for us here. With Kirishev onto Rodrigo. Now onto Verratti. <sighs> Maybe should have done a bit better, and it does go in. I think it's Parejo with the header. A little bit of luck that it falls for him, but the captain scores. 62 minutes in, we've got ourselves a goal. Uh, a little bit of a counter-attack there, and obviously a little bit of luck as well with the way that the keeper parried it out. Decent chance for Verratti, and a very good header in. Just about dips into the back of the net. 1-0. Parejo going to have a shot. Oh, I thought I'd curled in for a second. It's now time to make some changes. We're going to switch it around tactically a little bit as well. I think we're in a good position in the match. We don't look like conceding at the moment. I'm going to try and play two up front. Uh, the reason why I'm doing that is, again, to just experiment with the team as much as possible. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take a Ferrati, move Parejo back in there. We're going to take him off completely. I'm going to, we're actually going to bring on the Grado, and we're also going to bring on Gomez, but we'll try him out at left mid, which is one of the positions he can play. Um, so we're going to go two up front, see what it's like with Negredo and Rodrigo up front, and obviously we'll go with that as the midfield. Hopefully it works out, and we'll wait and see, obviously, for the last 15 minutes or so. Rodrigo's done brilliantly to get past the fullback. Now looking for Negredo. It's not a great cross, that one, is it? It was a good chance for us as well, with Negredo in there. And it hasn't quite worked, this two up from. We've looked a lot less stable at the back. It's not too good if you can't play a basic 4-4-2 formation. Usually tells you you don't have the right midfield players. But uh, Negredo obviously can't track back enough. And we're left looking quite vulnerable at the back. We are going to keep it like that, though, for the last sort of four minutes. I want to see how we hold out. 
even if it does mean that we drop two points, uh, because I am still experimenting with this team. I want to see what it's like in the final few minutes of the game. Uh, but maybe I should have started with this formation and then changed it to five in midfield. I'm not really too sure yet. Uh, it'll take me maybe as many as five games to figure out what sort of team I should be putting out. On the counter-attack here, Negredo's got to hold that one up a little bit better, I feel. I know he was put on under a lot of pressure, but maybe he has to hold that one up a bit better. And the referee's pulled it back. And uh, that's why, because he's been sent off two yellow cards. Wasn't even aware he was on a yellow, to be honest. And uh, he has been sent off in the 90th minute. It looks like we're going to come to a fairly comfortable victory in the end. And that is the three points in the bag. Decent result, considering obviously the circumstances. This is my first match that I've played uh, with the team. So I think we've done quite well to make sure they have no shots on target. So happy with the result. We'll take the three points, obviously. And I'll know for the uh, next few games coming up what sort of uh, formation, what sort of team I'll be putting out. I think what I'm going to do now is probably sim through the next two hours of this transfer deadline day. See what sort of emails we get, if any. I don't know if we will, because I'm obviously not putting in any bids at the moment. So it might just be transfer offers. And uh, we'll kind of see from there. Um, that's just Pijanic. And that is um, Arsenal wanting to try and sign him. Uh, but we aren't obviously going to sign him ourselves. There have been a lot of big deals. You can see they're the top deals. Uh, we've got Neymar and Pogba both going to PSG. They've spent some serious money, PSG. So, um, yeah, that is obviously one to look out for. Maybe they'll spend some more. There's seven hours left now, and I'm probably going to leave it around here, to be honest, uh, just in case we can maybe bring in one or two more players. I don't think we will be able to on that sort of wage or budget, but I think we will leave it uh, for now, guys, and that'll be the end of this episode. Again, apologies, it's going to be a little bit shorter. I have a little bit less time at the moment, um, but that's sadly just the way it is at the moment. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please go to the thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to go subscribe as well if you haven't already. Uh, let's try and hit uh, 30 likes on this video if we could. That'd be absolutely fantastic. And we'll see you tomorrow for a Legion United Corona video. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.